Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am going to be doing a favorites video. I haven't done a favorites video in forever and I was just sitting down thinking like I need to share with you guys all of the things that I'm loving. Some of them are new items. Some of them I've had for a while or they've been out for a while and they're new to my collection. I have some skincare, some health stuff, makeup, all of that goodness. So we're going to get right into the video. I'm trying to figure out if I want to do makeup or skincare makeup skin we're gonna go i'm just gonna kind of mix it up so the first thing that i do want to say is like my number one new favorite thing right now is the nars light reflecting foundation i absolutely love this foundation when it's on it doesn't feel like there's anything on you like legitimately it feels like you're wearing nothing but you have like a medium coverage and you can even build it up to be more full coverage so it's really exciting to have that option of like lightweight feeling but a decent coverage because usually when you're doing like full coverage it's like you can feel the makeup do you know what i mean so this one is really good it's really really expensive but i love it the next thing are the sonia kashik beauty sponges these are two for seven at target these get fucking huge okay huge this one's dirty this one's not and they're really nice they don't absorb a lot of makeup they're not like stiff it's like really really soft and it doesn't really absorb the makeup so that's really good so i really love these and they're inexpensive so the next thing i have i have a this one's a closed bottle i bought three of them the open one is actually downstairs i'm just lazy and i didn't want to go get it i follow chloe kardashian or i used to on my old instagram not on my new instagram um and she promotes Dose & Co. It is a collagen company and they do supplements, powders, um, tablets. So I just decided that I was going to go ahead and give it a try. Now I'm very iffy about anything Kardashian promoted. I know that sounds bad. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just kind of iffy. It just makes me a little skeptical is all I'm saying. So I went ahead and I took the plunge and I tried it and I'm telling you guys ever since I have used, I do the collagen supplements and I do the collagen powder or creamer in my coffee. And I'm telling you, my skin is getting so much better. It looks so much glowier. It looks so much healthier. Like, I just can't. I can't. It looks so good. The Dose & Co. Types 1 and 3 Collagen Peptides Hair, Skin, and Nails with Biotin and Vitamin C. So each one comes with 90 tablets. And I got three containers. This one's sealed, but the ones are downstairs. The only thing I hate about them is they're massive. Like, these are, like, humongous. Like, they're oblong, but they're, like, they're huge. Some lippies. So, I have the Kylie Jenner. Um, I think this was her Valentine's Day set. It was, like, a lip trio. I don't have the other one. It's downstairs in my purse because it quite literally is one of my favorite lip glosses. Uh, it's the more mauve color, and I have the pink one on right now. And then they have the orangey one, which is the one I actually use the least just because of the color to my skin. It just doesn't look so flattering. But I really like these because it's almost like a lip lacquer and a lip gloss had a baby. Almost maybe kind of like the gloss balm creams, but not as pigmented. And she, she took the market with that, okay? Sorry, Kylie. It is what it is. The gloss balm creams are just like the perfect lip lacquer and lip gloss combination. But these are really nice. I don't think you can actually get these anymore. You might be able to if you check her um, website out, but I've been using these a lot since I got them. I absolutely love them and they're so cute and they're just so little. So they just toss right into like, so sometimes I have a big purse. Sometimes I have a little purse. Sometimes I have no purse. So these are perfect for those times. And then the next lippies are the NYX Shine Loud Lippies from NYX Cosmetics. These are the ultra stay forever all day through anything and everything situation I'm going somewhere and you need your lipstick not to fucking budge this is it like this would be something I would wear to the beach so to the beach you don't want to really keep putting on lipstick and if you have a sticky lipstick you're gonna like sand and everything else so you don't want to do that but you want it to last and you want it to look so pretty this is it and they have tons of different colors um the thing is the price ranges depending on where you shop for them i think at like t um not target uh ulta it's maybe like 11.99 or something but when i went to walmart i'm pretty sure it was like 10 something so check out like walmart or target or somewhere else that might have them cheaper but the nyx shine loud perfection so this is actually from Jacqueline cosmetics i got these a while ago this one is gumdrop i just grabbed one cupcake is the one i usually use the most but this is her lip lacquers and 
I love them. Like, they are really pigmented. Um, the only thing I don't like is I feel like I have to dip a lot because it doesn't really get much out. So I'm dipping to cover my lips and dipping to cover my lips. A tad sticky, so it's more on like a thicker lip gloss side, but it's really pigmented and really nice, especially on the days where I just want to put a liner on and just have glossy lips. Like, that is just my jam and my vibe for the rest of this year. I just, I love liquid lipsticks. You guys know I love lipsticks, but I just haven't really been in the heavy makeup wearing feeling. And that's kind of why I haven't done like a lot of makeup videos lately. Um, it's not that I don't wear makeup or don't still love makeup. Y'all know I do. I buy it all the time, but I just get into these ruts where I'm just like, I don't want to wear makeup. I don't, but I still don't want to look like I'm dying. So I have to put something on. This is definitely one of those some things where it's something I can wear every day and it doesn't like cause me to have like ugh, on my lips. So I really like it. And it actually doesn't transfer as quickly as you would think it would. So it lasts a little longer than a lip gloss. Obviously it transfers. It's not like a liquid lipstick. I think I have one hair thing in here this time because honestly, I haven't really been doing my hair. My hair is making me sad. Like, I think it's thinning. So I've always had this issue. I have very thick curly hair. I have my whole life. Um, and I've had this issue for the past two years where my hair is just coming out in clumps. And it makes me very sad. It's very hard to talk about because it makes me very sad. And my hair has just become so thin. And, like, that's one of the reasons I started taking the collagen, too. Like, you used to not be able to see through my curls. And now, like, this is, what is this? Like, that is that even, like, a curl? What is that? Like, what is that? So I just have had like, I don't know a lot of sadness about my hair. So I just haven't been doing it. I've just been throwing it up because I don't want to deal with it and it makes me sad. But when I do like do my curls, like if I pull my little frizzy hair pieces out here, they're not baby hairs because they're, they're a little bit longer. Um, but I like to pull them out because the thing is I have a lot of frizz. Okay. If you have curly hair, you have a lot of frizz. Embrace your frizz, okay? Because the problem is, it is what it is. It's gonna take a lot of gel to mat down or you can just embrace it and that's what I do. So I pull my hair up and then I kind of use a soft brush and I just brush out the frizzy parts and then I use this and I go through and I just make sure it looks more curly and more defined and less kind of poofy because that is with the frizz issue. So I really love this. If you have curly hair, even if you're not doing like this style and you just have curly hair, you need to look into this this is an amazing product i got it because it was like on sale at ulta but it's professional sebastian twisted it's a curl magnifier it's a styling cream and this is what it looks like and i swear by this stuff like i don't even do gel and stuff anymore really in my hair so i'll just take like a little bit of that and then nah, 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 like this and just literally push it through and my curls will just go zoop, zoop. like look at these these were like little bushy things. I even let this stay down because my hair kind of just falls down anyways. So I just thought it'd be like cute and stylish just to keep it down, but just make sure it's curly and not poofy. So you got curly hair, check this out. So this is the Fenty Liquid Kilowatt and this one is in the Hustler Baby 2.0. I absolutely love this. Not only do I love this for under and over my makeup, but I love it when I'm not wearing any complexion products at all. And I just wanna have my skin look like it's glowing, especially in the summertime. You wanna look a little bit more glowy when you're in the wintertime and it's dry and it's gross. Like people kind of expect that from your skin. But in the summertime, if you're dry and gross, people are just like, oh. And if you have dry skin like I do, it's very hard sometimes to make your skin look glowy and dewy because your skin is just naturally a desert. So I like doing this. I put it at the obviously the tops of my cheeks. I put it up my nose. I also put it here on my chin and then I put a little bit right here where the light hits on my forehead. So just to kind of give it like a more natural looking glow and not like makeup looking glow. So I really, really love this and I'm glad I purchased that. That was a recent pur recent purchase at least. So the next one is also a more recent purchase. This is the Rare Beauty um, Always Sunny Bronzer Stick. So I did a video on this and I kind of was like, oh, I don't really like it over my makeup. Cause it was nice, but it almost kind of just like blended away, right? So then I started using it without like any complexion products and it is gorgeous 
on my skin okay I don't like it with makeup I like it without it looks so good so creamy and it just melts into my skin and I look so good my skin looks so healthy but also has that beautiful bronze moment so another thing I've had for a while this is the Laneige sleeping care Sika Sika C -ca sleeping I don't know C -ca 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 C -I -C -A, sleeping mask I've actually had this for a very long time and I just opened it about a month ago okay I have so much skincare you guys don't understand and then companies do send me skincare so on top of buying it myself and being sent it it's just like I don't have enough face to go through the amount of skincare I receive um so believe it or not I receive a lot more skincare in PR than I do makeup which is weird but it is what it is. I'm grateful. I'm thankful. I'm here. But this, this is amazing. I don't know why I wasn't using this. I literally, so I've been doing this thing called slugging. Some of you know what it is if you've been on TikTok. Some of you don't. So I'm going to give you a brief synopsis of what it is. And I'm also going to show you my second favorite product because it involves the slugging. So basically slugging, slugging, basically slugging is putting on your moisturizer, letting it sit in for like, you know, whatever, five minutes or so, just let it absorb, and then covering your face in something with petroleum jelly. I use the CeraVe Healing Ointment because you guys recommended me this, like I think on my dry skin video and I've used it and I've loved it and I'll never go back. But you can use stuff like Vaseline or whatever. I don't know who came up with it, okay? It was on TikTok and I found it. Can't give props because I don't know who created the idea, but here's how it goes down. I don't use the uh, moisturizer, okay? I instead use a hydrating sleeping mask, Exhibit A. And first of all, this by itself makes my skin when I wake up feel like it was bathing in hydration all night long, okay? Okay, so you put that on. I let it sit there for like five to 10 minutes. And then I come into it with this and some of the TikToks you will see, you will see them caking it on their face, caking it. When I say caking it, I mean like you can see like layers of the petroleum gel. You don't need that much. You don't need that much. You need like this much, okay? And just make sure it's really on there. You want it thick, but you don't want it to where it's like that. Like you can see the depth of it. So I don't do that much. I do like maybe a quarter size amount and I put it on after I've let my moisturizer or sleeping mask, you know, chill, chill. And then I sleep in it. And then when I wake up, I wash my face. And when I tell you, those of you with dry skin, those of you with eczema, Please try this hack, try this beauty tip because you're never gonna go back. You're never gonna, I only do it like three times a week. Um, I've seen people do it once a week or twice a week and my skin is just dry so I need to do it more but I've also seen people do it every night and I can't cake that much product on my face every night. Like I, I don't have issues with breakouts but I feel like if I went down that route I definitely would so I'm not doing that but I absolutely love it it's one of my favorite things to do now in my skincare if you guys want to see like an updated skincare routine nighttime daytime whatever let me know I'll get it out for you Ooh. so this he -he, is a shower body exfoliating mitt Ooh, yes yeah, so I use these I got this from Amazon this one is called the Yiklik <laughs> it's called the Yiklik um mitt there are tons of them again TikTok made me buy it. I will link this stuff down below for you obviously if I have it or if it's still available for purchase but this I had the mitts that kind of go like this like in your hand it looks like a glove but it's more exfoliating but I heard that these were really really amazing and I've been using it and it is indeed amazing. I absolutely love exfoliating my skin because again I'm dry. We've had this talk. We've had this discussion. We're gonna move on but that's why I got it and it comes in a two pack and I think it was like $9.99 and it hangs on my shower like this and it's easier to take off and put on than the glove when your hand is wet. Like if you ever try to put a glove on with wet hands it's not it's not really easy so I like to just use this one because it just slides on and off so makeup wise I have the Lancome Lash Adol Adol Adole oh is it Adole did I I don't think that's how you say that whatever this is what it looks like I cannot pronounce things welcome to my channel and I say things really wrong so this mascara I got a bunch of mascaras from Ulta I think it was like around Christmas time maybe 
and I think they were like on like all of them were half off or something I don't remember I think it was like all of them were 50% off if you shop at Ulta a lot you know that the sales like these were like 50% off or something like Black Friday or something and so I just picked this up because I've never had any mascara like this from this company from Lancome so I was just like you know I'm good to go and then I tried it and then I was like what the fuck is that I love this I believe yeah. that all mascara um basically is the same it is what it, it, you can't argue with me on that it really is um I mean I, there's some super cheap ones that are just dry and they don't do anything but a mascara to me is a mascara I wear false lashes if you wear fake lashes like just mascara is just what it is but this is actually really nice I get that high volume look but it doesn't clump up and that's what I need in my life because I tried the sky high stuff for Maybelline that stuff made my lashes look long, but they clumped them all together so it looked like I had four long lashes and it was fucking annoying. So the next two things I have um, are these. They're from Bath and Body Works. I have a crap ton in scents and a crap ton in different scents. I just picked these out of my cabinet to show you guys for reference, but I literally have like 10 of each of them. So this is the Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower Sand and Sea Salt Body Scrub. When I tell you guys I love body scrub, I love body scrubs. I love them. This one is $17.50. Y'all know Bath and Body Works. You can get a deal, okay? You can get a coupon. You can get a deal. Um, there are a lot of other body scrubs that I have that I've gotten from TJ Maxx that I'm just not the biggest fan of. The Tree Hut one that everyone was talking about, it's not for me. Uh, it's not scrubby enough. I would... <laughs> I want it more scrubby, less jelly. So it wasn't just something I was into. I have tried a ton of them and this is the one I just go back to because I feel like it is super gritty but not like painfully dry gritty and the smells are fantastic. Oh, this one is one of my favorite and so is Champagne Toast. And this one, now I don't think these are new at Bath & Body Works but they're new to me this year. I think I bought my first one like three months ago maybe. Maybe. I don't know. It was recently. It was a couple months ago. Maybe January. But this is the Bahamas Passion Fruit, Fruit and Banana Flower. This is a moisturizing body wash. It has shea butter and cocoa butter in it. It moisturizes after one shower. So it's kind of like lotion. So have you tried the Nivea lotion body wash? I have that too and I love that. It's kind of like that. Like it's just lotion in a body wash. So it's really really nice on my skin and my skin always feels so nice and smells so nice after I use the body scrub and a moisturizing body wash. So this one is $14.50. Again you can get a deal. You can get all that. I have so many of these because they just recently had the buy three get three free and I went ham on them. So I really really love them. They they smell nice they don't irritate my skin which is nice but they're not as expensive as like the ones you're gonna find in Sephora so I really like them and I've been using them a lot lately each one has its own little pair so I can still smell good and smell the same and then I have the Corel healing or ultra healing intensive lotion I will use this during the day or at nighttime on my face if I am having a super dry moment which is like all of the fucking time if my moisturizer so I love my moisturizers I have a ton of them I have some from you know drugstore brand to higher end and I love them all but at the end of the day when my eczema acts up none of those help because they're either too thick not thick enough scented whatever it might be so I really have to go to like something like this and it just makes my skin feel so nice the only thing I will tell you about this is I've noticed when I use it if I use too much of it it'll kind of peel like pe pile peel I don't know it like kind of it like I don't know it like kind of I don't know it's weird it like peels up and I get like crumbles and nastiness from it. So don't use too much if you use this. But I don't think this is for your face. But that's what I use it for. Because it works wonders. And it's like three or four dollars at the drugstore. But it's really nice. And it's like the only thing that helps my skin when I'm having a super big flare up from my eczema. But that is it guys for my favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that these helped you and give you some insight on some things that I'm loving and that you guys should probably look into if they work for you. As always, I will list everything down below. I just have, I feel like my makeup, my my favorites of makeup is kind of like dwindling and it's not that I don't love makeup anymore. I love makeup, I absolutely love makeup. I just don't get excited about things that launch anymore because I just feel like we've, we've done it all. You know, does that make sense? Like we've nothing really, 
oh, has came out that I'm like so excited about. So I have some favorite makeup things, but for the most part, skincare and my body and all of that has been something I've been really focusing on. So that's why I have so much skincare and hair care and supplements and stuff that I've been taking. So I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a like before you leave. Comment down below and let me know if you've tried any of these products or what is a favorite product you're using right now currently. Makeup, hair care, body care, face, all of it. Let me know and I will go try it. I have some things I need to try that people have been commenting on my dry skin video that I posted like a year ago, I think, or two years ago. Um, but they're starting to really get me. I want to go shopping. I, I want to go shopping and right now is a good time because Sephora is having their little sale and Ulta is having their 21 days of beauty sale or whatever. So I'm going to check it out. But as always, guys, I love you. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.